Hello everyone. Welcome to Nesso Academy. We have successfully completed chapter number 1, which is introduction to C++. Now we are in chapter number 2, which is basics of C++. In this chapter we will understand basics of C++ so that it will be easier for us to encounter difficult topics in future. In this chapter we will learn all the basics of C++ and we are beginning this chapter with this lecture and the name of this lecture is keywords and identifiers in this lecture we will understand what are keywords and what are identifiers so let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics the first topic of this lecture is keywords first we will understand what a keyword is then we will move to the next topic where we will understand what are identifiers and what are some rules associated with identifiers so these are the two topics which we will deal with in this lecture let's get started with the first topic that is keywords let's understand what is a keyword a keyword is a special word with special meaning in c++ so what is a keyword keyword as the name suggests is a word which play some key role in c++ so it is a special word with special meaning in c++ by special meaning i mean that keyword plays an important role in c++ we cannot use it randomly in our code or we cannot use it in place of identifier there are many keywords available in c++ precisely as of c++ 17 there are 95 keywords available to us i'm not going to list down all the keywords here but some of the keywords i'm going to mention now these are some of the keywords available in c++ i'm not going to explain all these keywords these keywords will be well understood when we encounter them in this course right now we will understand some of these keywords to make you comfortable with keywords let's start with double keyword double keyword is used to represent fraction or a decimal number double keyword is having more precision compared to one more keyword which we will understand later it is called the float keyword we have the double keyword which represents a decimal number with high precision then we have the or keyword or keyword is used to connect two conditions if one condition is satisfied then the overall compound condition will be satisfied then we have the keyword if if keyword is used to check a specific condition and based on the condition a specific code will be executed if the condition turns out to be true then the code will be executed otherwise it will not be executed then we have the keyword true true represents truthness of something that is something is correct false represents something is wrong then we have the keyword void which is mainly used for functions to tell that a specific function does not return anything as the result it will only perform some action so these are some of the keywords i have explained out of all these keywords as i have mentioned already we will learn all these keywords as we encounter them in this course but for now knowing these keywords is enough we are done with the first topic of this lecture that is keywords we have understood what a keyword is and we also learned some of the keywords now let's move to the next topic where we will understand what are identifiers let's understand what is an identifier the name of a variable a function or any other object in c++ is called an identifier so identifier is just a name given to these entities that is variable function or some object you may not know these terms already let's try to understand these terms first let's first understand the meaning of object an object represents a storage location where we can store some value this means it represents a memory location a named object is what we call a variable 
So variable represents a named location. When we give that storage location a name, we call it a variable. Then we have function. A function represents a block of code which is used to perform some task. It may not return anything as the result, but it is capable of performing some task. So I hope these entities are clear to you. Now let's understand the meaning of identifier properly. Identifier is just a name given to these entities. When we give some name to these entities, we call that name an identifier. So it's just a technical term we use in C++ for names given to these entities. I hope the meaning of identifier is completely clear to you. As an example, let's say that we want to store age of some person, which is 17. We want to store it in a variable that is a named object. Let's say the name of the variable is age. Age can be the name of the variable because it represents the age of the person. So age is the identifier. Because it helps us identify that specific location and it also helps us accessing that specific value. I hope the idea is completely clear to you. Now let's understand some of the rules associated with identifiers, that is, some of the naming rules for these entities. Rule number one is an identifier cannot be a keyword. Understand that an identifier cannot be a keyword. This means we cannot use a keyword in place of an identifier. And this is something that I have mentioned already because keywords are special words. They have special meaning. We cannot use them as identifiers. Rule number two is an identifier can only contain letters, digits and underscores. It is important to understand that an identifier cannot have any special character like at the rate, exclamation mark or any other operator. We cannot use these special symbols. We can only use letters, digits and underscores. Rule number three is an identifier must begin with a letter or an underscore. It must not begin with a digit. So age 32 is the correct name, but 32 age is not the correct name. Also, please note that we can begin a variable name or some other entity with an underscore, but it is not advisable to do so. We must not begin a specific identifier with an underscore because it is usually meant for system implementation. So, it is not advisable to begin an identifier with an underscore, although you are allowed to begin an identifier with a letter. So this is the third point. Let's move to the fourth point. The identifiers where with all lowercase letters, where with uppercase V, where with uppercase V and R, and where with all uppercase letters are all different. These are all different identifiers because C++ is case sensitive. This means we cannot say that small V and capital V are same small a and capital A are same, small r and capital R are same. So these are all different identifiers. I hope this idea is clear to you. So you must name your entities very carefully. So these are some of the naming rules that we need to be careful about while naming our variables. So with this, we have understood what are identifiers and this means we are done with the second topic also. And this also means that we are done with this lecture. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.